There's a wasp drinking water out of a pepper leaf. He didn't like that. <laughs>
and then this purple basil fell over last night. I mean, it didn't fall over out of its bucket. It fell over while it's still in the bucket. So, I'm going to harvest that and try it. I actually got that free with um, some um, Baker Creek seed purchases. You know, they usually give you that free seed pack. Oh, look at that. There's a wasp drinking water out of a pepper leaf. Okay, he didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> These two cayenne plants keep producing. Um, I'll show you the ones that I've collected inside in a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, we pick and pick and they keep growing and growing and growing. So, yeah, we're going to keep picking. Um, we'll have enough to make some uh, powder this time around. I'm excited about that. For those of you wondering how the fish are doing, it looks like one of the, the spider plants from the rooster garden fell off in here last night. These are the little ones. These are the little minnows. My daughter has uh, separated them from the larger ones because those guys, can you see it? Yeah, those guys, whoop. yeah, they're eating <laughs> the smaller ones, so we had to separate them. But yeah, um, this is one of them that we've um, repotted. The rest, rooster garden, except for two squares, which we um, have growing somewhere else, um, yeah, they're still in here, and they're producing, and we're going to eventually hang them um, on our porch when the porch is built for the new place. Because we had success with our other watermelons growing out of a bucket, we're, we actually started a couple seeds from the yellow watermelon um, that my family member was growing. And then this guy. You remember the hula hoop, right? Hula hoop time machine. Yeah, th these are morning glories. This is actually morning glory leaves. Um, there's an assassin bug in here somewhere. But yeah, um, we thought it a bit whimsical to throw another vining plant in here. I say it's a bad idea now. <laughs> because, um, you know, they're both competing. The morning glories actually, uh, I don't know, not doing as well. Because... This guy decided he was just going to leave the, the time machine altogether. This guy um, still has fruit on him. Look at that. It's still there. It's not ready to harvest yet or else he would be eaten by now. But, yeah, there's little gnats and ants crawling around, which we're going to take care of the ants with a little bit of iron oil. Um... A little orange oil spray. I can't do it right now. The sun is out and it's very strong. But yeah, this guy is uh, doing well. There's a couple other ones growing now. Um, and a couple other butternut squash. Otherwise, we would beat all of this back. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to, to separate it all and make sure we don't, you know, get a, a vine that's not supposed to be there. These are yellow cherries yellow cherries <laughs> yellow cherry tomatoes or not cherry a uh, grape yeah I'll, t I'll, I'll figure it out in a second one of them looks ripe back there Let's see if i can't reach in there and grab him without upsetting some delicate balance hey look at that there's a, a lemon starburst pepper Ooh, all you guys see is leaves there it is um i'll show you the one that i got um it's not completely ripe yet but uh i'll show you the one that i harvested the other day but if you notice yeah i've got all yellow stuff growing in here and there's cooper he is um tied around the tree he's by himself today he doesn't really like being by himself but the puppies were getting on his nerves in the back and 
yeah, they, they tend to do that. Oh, well, that's a great um, shot there, Cooper. Thanks a lot. But there he is. Okay, since it never occurred to me before to um, take pictures and videos of harvest, um, I'm going to go ahead and record some of <laughs> I know we've eaten so many tomatoes and zucchini and yeah I mean these are zucchini that came out of the cages in the front in the containers we've eaten a ton of them from the garden already um this one and that one they kind of have weird shapes because they rub up against the uh the wires of the cages and then these are the um, some of the uh, yellow pear tomatoes. I said yellow grape earlier, but yellow pear tomatoes um, that I brought in because they looked yellow outside. This one actually is almost completely yellow. Um, I hope they taste better than they did last season. Um, these are the Cayennes, and they came from the little 20 cent packs, like five for a dollar from Dollar Tree. Not the the peppers, the seeds. So we got five seed packs and um, these all came from one seed. Um, well, two seeds because um, there's one in each bucket or yeah, buckets. This is a purple Russian cream that hasn't changed yet. And I think it's because it's too hot outside. That's what they actually are supposed to look like. The taste test, I think that one Got mixed up with a cherry tomato, maybe a better boy or something. I don't know. Um, because it, they're supposed to kind of have this roughly top or whatever, and they don't. It looked more like this one, which that one kind of cracked a little bit on the top. So, yeah, some of them are a result of Ed's drunken bees. And... <laughs> They can understand you because you're on the camera, dear. And this is the first lemon starburst I pulled off. Thank you, McGee Homestead Adventures. Um, this tomato is really red compared, ooh, compared to the others. This one came from outside tomato row is what I call where I put the cuttings in the in-ground garden. And this is one of the poblanos I haven't cooked yet. And yeah. We've actually made a ton of stuff. I just It just never occurred to me to <laughs> show you guys. These are Sugar Rush Peach Peppers, and I've eaten a couple of them cooked in things. Eating these raw when they're this, you know, they're still yellow. They're not exactly that pinkish peaches, co uh, peaches, peaches color that they're going to get. Um, but there's kind of a sweetness to them right before this smoky bite. So they're not exactly there yet. Now, I'm just guessing because I never tasted them before. It's my first time growing Sugar Rush Peach. So we shall see. We shall see. That's where the harvest is gone. 